of Uncharted from the previous games. Huh. That, again, does some sort of big action. Reload, finish, finish. Some sort of big action and then burns itself out pretty fast. So that one in particular shot a bunch of we call them specters, little things that track enemies, will hit them, do some damage. Hmm. And we have ones that will revive your teammates in a certain area instantly, one that will allow you to dash around. There's some pretty interesting ones out there. So I didn't do great, but still top of the team. Hey, that's, nice. That's not, not too bad. You want to Sure, uh, I'll take the next one. Yes, I've been... Uh, yeah, we have definitely considered it, and you know we, we're trying considered, still things. Considered that, stealth, stealth melee. melee. Yeah, um, and we're still considering some ways that we can get that in because people have asked about it. But we found a lot of people in our focus. That's a lot of people here still enjoy the idea of charging it up and using that as their stealth and the strategy of when to do that. Uh, so we're focused mostly on that right now with with stealth melee, and we're still responding to people's feedback, and then. Even in a stress test, you know, we're still going to listen to the feedback. Yeah, it's definitely something, you know, we recognize that stealth players don't quite have enough options yet yeah. in the game. We want to give those, those that play style a little more breadth. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at how else we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like stealth. Yeah. Yeah. You're a stealth player? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, we're still working on that one a little bit. Well, it's not quite as fleshed out as the other play styles are. Mm -hmm. So maybe while we're waiting, you could. Take us through these loadouts again. again we okay, so since we didn't get a chance before. So Assault's kind of our balanced loadout. has a good spread of mostly offensive things, but that just lets you kind of attack in different ways. Mm -hmm. Support is really just the, the support loadout. That's how you get better at reviving. You have the, the revive packs. So you can revive from a distance. Uh, so revive save. pack, you throw it at a down player and down it player revives them. Revives them. We have uh, the staff, which is kind of a award it shows where people are on the other team a little bit cost you some money um we had close range which does exactly what it sounds like you get up close to people you take them out uh we had our our recon our sniper class long range and tactical is you know a three round burst weapon it's kind of the idea there that you can be a little more of a utility player get around behind people flank and, and do some damage pretty quick uh, actually, I think our, our burst rifle has the fastest time to down if you're perfectly accurate with it in our, in our game right now. Um, can be hard to use though. And then the other one's blanking right now. I'm, I'm missing the, the last one. Dope. A few people were asking just to answer mm -hmm. some questions from chat. So there are a few people asking uh, in terms of uh, if there's going to be other modes, if there's co-op, uh, custom stuff like that. Um, so for the stress test, the content is very limited. Uh, a lot of it really is, again, just to test our servers. Uh, I know at the beginning of the year, um, our game designer, Robert Cogburn, had tweeted out that I was going to, uh, to hit me up when to find out when there's going to be more info <laughs> multiplayer. So he was totally calling me out on public. Um, so there will be more info. There's a lot more modes and uh, a lot more characters, more maps that we're going to talk about. All that stuff is in the works to reveal and talk about. It's going to be a lot closer to launch, um, just to make sure that uh, you're getting to know everything like just before you get to play it, rather than spreading it out. So we'll be yeah. revealing a lot more closer to launch. Uh, but that's definitely in the works, so we'll make sure that you're not uh, jumping into multiplayer without getting a good overview of what's included. We hope you guys will be happy with the, the final spread of, of options. And then the, the other thing, there was a good question that we had in the back, and a lot of it was really sort of discussing like how much did our learnings or the, the type of multiplayer that we had in The Last of Us influence uh, how we approached Uncharted 3 multiplayer and, and any of the learnings that may have been carried over. Sure, we, you know, we learned quite a lot from The Last of Us multiplayer in terms of, of creating an experience specifically that really fit uh, the game, the, the tone of the game, the world, and taking that experience as far as we could take it for what people want it out of that particular style of game. The Last of Us is a lot more tactical, a lot slower, a lot more lethal, a lot more dangerous, um, and a lot more deliberate. Like, there's no blind fire, you know, there's no regenerating health, you have to choose to heal yourself. Whereas Uncharted is a lot more freedom of motion, conservation of momentum, this pulp action, 
you're kind of a superhero in a sense, but you're in a world of all these people who are kind of like that. Uh, you take a lot of damage. So, despite all of that, we still want to make sure that we were getting good team play, and you see some of those lessons from The Last of Us of what we found worked for good team play, of reviving and um, the store and giving you these tactical options. And we're just trying to make sure that those kind of things are in the game without ruining that tone that people expected, that pulp, that action, the, the fast movement. There was a good revive pack use. That was a good revive pack use. One. So uh, if you're knocked down, can anyone pick you back up? Anyone on your team can pick you back up. It doesn't okay. have to be support. Support's just a lot better at it. And yeah. the revive pack allows the support player to to do that without, as you see now, he's kind of... Um, Pulling up a little bit. Well, he was, he was locked into that motion. He yeah. was locked into reviving. The, the revive back allows you to keep fighting while the person's being revived. So okay. it's, it's really powerful. Although you can move around while you're reviving. You're Both not, of you can move around. You're you just not don't want to get too right far there. from yeah. each other. Because mm. um, like, that's an easy thing is to think, oh, I just need to sit there. But the whole point is if you're still like slightly exposed, you can both move into out of cover. Yeah. If you're and really if talking you're talking to each other, you can coordinate that and both move uh, the right same way so you don't break that line and, and stop reviving. Uh, and then if they if they wait too long, you you wind up bleeding out and you'll you'll be knocked out and you'll respawn after a certain amount of time. I'm gonna spawn with sniper here. Sniper is really nice. The sniper is is kind of like stays in one spot that was bad. and just shoots anyone he's, that they see. Uh, they're really nice and easy to kill if you get close to them, but from a distance they can be quite dangerous. I love putting the sniper up in like a wide open area with the sniper in my hands and just waiting for her to shoot someone and then following up it's it feels a little unfair sometimes <laughs> i wanted to give a shout out to um that's not a grenade <laughs> well in the chat sweet 13 poison she's been running a lot of our naughty pause events and been really good with working with our uh multiplayer community on the forums and stuff like that and she's run a ps4 community called naughty pause events as well and we're hoping that after launch we can start uh playing with them a little bit more often during their schedules and stuff. Yeah, so definitely uh, take a look at the forums for um, Sweet Poison and also the uh, Naughty Pause events on the uh, PS4 community side. And just to give feedback, we know there's a ton of you playing. We see the numbers, so get on the forums, give us feedback, let us know what you think, let us know what you, you like, what you dislike, and, and just uh, communicate with us. Sure, and I guess I'll admit we've we've kind of slowed down with answering the monthly Q A's Q and A's uh, that she's been doing. So that was also a good way to get more information on what we're doing with uh, multiplayer and single player. Um, we're gonna pick those up uh, hopefully this month already. Um, we're a few months behind on the last one. Uh, oh. that, that's mostly my fault. Uh, but we've been we've been very busy developing the game. So um, you know I do want to apologize for everyone out there and. Uh, Sweet Poison's been really great at following up and that sort of thing. So she's she's real rock star in our community. Thank people you, Sweet Poison. <laughs> indeed. It's like that people are just popping up right in the same spot for you to keep shooting. Yeah. Oh, my team's coming. The entire team, team is reviving you. <laughs> this is a pretty good one. This is much more much more fair than the last one. So is it six on six? It's five on five. Five on five. Um, yeah, we, we, we find five to be a, a good number, and that's been kind of how it's been in previous Uncharted's too. And uh, it, just, it allows for a good amount of like teamwork without being overwhelmingly active, because we do have a lot of store purchases, the NPCs running around, the, the mysticals. So I'm using the reposition here on my sniper, so basically you can tell your. She's one of the ones, yeah, that you can to to move around if you want to to put her in a better location, so she can be on a high perch like this and have like a good line of sight. She's one of the ones that you can give a little bit of, of direction to. And if you're really good at micromanaging her, you can keep her alive for a lot longer. So for the characters, so if you're choosing Recon, it would be her, right? Or can you choose any character? You can choose any, any character class. of any class. We don't, they're not locked to classes. We just wanted people to be able to uh, play with who they love from the, the single player game. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some new characters in there who... That, that character you just killed, that was uh, not, I believe, he's... He's new to this game. There's a lot of, of characters from older games who aren't in Uncharted 4, um, but are part of the whole Uncharted series. So hopefully we'll get everyone's favorite characters in, and, and you know we'll keep releasing characters after after launch. Nice, nice. So can you tell us a little about this map? This was the intro one too, right? This was the map that you play in the intro if you're playing in the, the Stress Testing Play tutorial. This will be the same map. 
This is our island map. It's one of our um, single player environments that's been adapted to a multiplayer scene. Can't talk too much about it because I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, yeah. Uh, people can see it's a very pretty environment in terms of foliage. It's one of our more foliage rich yeah. maps. Um, it has some very wide uh, vistas on the side that actually are important in single player. So I'm kind of excited when people get to play it, they'll see all these connections in it. Hey, you did well. Only he three did. revives. Three, yeah. <laughs> a lot of assists, though. That's gotta, right. gotta finish your kills. So one of the things we talked about is, um, you just mentioned, even though this is a stress test, we were looking for feedback Absolutely. under our forums, yeah. and uh, you can even tell us on Twitch and stuff like that. What were, we had uh, a beta back in December. What was, what were some of the learnings that we got from there that uh, we applied to multiplayer in general? Uh, in general, I mean, do you want to, Take that one. Or was there anything really interesting that stood out from either the feedback or I mean, just watching people play? Definitely some very interesting things. Yeah, I mean, the biggest things we saw were that uh, initially people were a little bit taken aback <laughs> with how much new stuff was in the game because we really added a lot of new things. Yeah, let's pass the controller back. Uh, you know, there's all these mystical abilities. Uh, we had these sidekicks, and people were like, whoa, this is really different than the earlier games. And then when they played it, they were like, wow, this is really fun. We really like this. There's, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, and certainly there were still some players that were like, well, some of this has gone too far for me. But l we felt like the majority of the players just really embraced all the new mechanics in the game and felt like it you know, helped evolve the franchise and bring the multiplayer to a, to a new place. Uh, which, so we're really happy with the reception. Um, we certainly took a lot of uh, feedback on the balance side and made some made some changes yeah, uh, we, we're always looking especially for balance feedback we have our, our stats coming in but that's just one side of the picture we still need to hear what people say about it despite like something could be really underperforming everyone might say it feels awful to play against like that's still important so yeah so one example was the brute uh we got a lot of feedback from the beta that the sidekick uh the brute sidekick uh, felt too powerful, especially when used in conjunction with other players. So, like, my whole team would spawn a bunch of brutes and would be like, how can I take these guys down? It's, it's way too hard. <laughs> I love his sunglasses. Uh, and so one of the changes, significant changes we made, uh, is that the brute now doesn't push forward and attack the enemy team. He just stays with you. And so it's much harder to kind of just assault the enemy team with a bunch of brutes because they're always focused around you. And so you have to much put forward and put yourself at risk while you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that kind of helped balance out the, the brutes, we feel like. And, and certainly in our internal testing, uh, it's helped a lot. And so we're, that's one of the changes we're testing out here in the stress test. So we're interested in hearing feedback about that from the others. This is a little unfair since I know where people spawn. Oh! <laughs> well, people will get there eventually, right? Well, yeah. just, you've got the first, you got the advantage just because you got yeah, you've played this map before they have. See, so you know you're yeah. teaching everyone where the spawn points Though are. he he, someone caught me. I could have gotten two there if he hadn't. Yeah. Headphones falling off. And you know, another thing with like an example of, of feedback some. versus stats, we saw like a lot of players were destroying the brutes, and other players were having a tough time with them and trying to figure out exactly what was going on there. Um. Just trying to make them a little more consistent in how you fight so it doesn't feel so well, inconsistent. And with weapons especially. Uh, we you know we we had thankfully by the end um, of, of the last time we, we had some good stats to, to do some weapon changes and to balance the guns and we're hoping we'll see some some good spread of weapons being used. Nothing too overall. Hopefully, because a lot of people are still, a lot of people, I don't know if they've jumped into the stress test, but they're talking about the Metler being overpowered and the shotgun being overpowered, which... From from previous or, or from... Well, they're just sure saying it. So yeah. I don't know if they've played yet, but... Well, I hope I hope they get it in play if they haven't yet. It's, uh, it's good to get that kind of feedback, even if... And it's cool because anyone with a PS4 can play this, correct? Anyone this with a PS4 and even without... PS Plus, it's it's just there to be the. Yeah, the idea is to get as many people as possible playing it, so we can test things like the servers going down, or what happens when we have, when we have high concurrency, or when we have in, what happens when we have uh, just high numbers of players mm -hmm. in it. Ah, someone got in my way. That was a good use of the C4 you did there. Yes, I wanted to save it. It's uh, C4 is. It, me. C4 can be tough to use. Um, I love mostly to use it when someone's chasing me and I want to just drop it on a wall and blow them up, but, but sometimes people just don't run away from it, I guess. 
Uh, someone in the chat has just mentioned, I know we've mentioned it earlier, um, they can't unlock anything and can't use custom loadouts. So that's one of the things that uh, with the stress test uh, we we're fixing. Um, it, it should have been working, but uh, we found out that there was an issue with it. So. Yeah, that's one of the server issues that we're debugging right now. And uh, that's why we do these tests and it's why we want to make sure it's smooth at launch. Um, yeah, so I mean, definitely appreciate everyone's patience as we iron out those issues. Good guy, devs. That's why you're sitting here taking time off, playing the game. <laughs> There's oh, some yeah. people somewhere else in the studio working real hard fixing all of this. <laughs> Stole somebody's kill, I'm not gonna steal the other. <laughs> Alright, so this class I said this is the this is the tactical class. It has some a good spread. We have some support actions, some offensive actions. So you just bought a Chintamani stone. Bought a Chintamani stone, stone to play so a little bit of support here. Let's talk about how that works. Well, Chintamani stone you see has a actually hmm. uh, um works a little differently, right? I think still, right? It's not. It's, it isn't survived now. Yeah. Okay. It's still, it's still. Oh, somebody just wanted a sniper. Yeah, but I can't cancel out of this. Normally you, you just triangle. You can cancel triangle. triangle. Normally circle will also do that. Uh, Chintamani stone though will revive your teammates instantly when they're down. It's good to be near them to use it, and probably not to use it when a person's already being revived. There you go. So that revives anyone in that vicinity? Anyone in that circle. Okay. Someone's got a C4 floating there. Where's my spotlight? Uh, and I'm being marked by an enemy team's uh, staff on the radar. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show me in the world, it just shows me on the radar, but it's still pretty powerful. Are there different modes where you don't have the mini-map up there? Uh, or is that usually always there? We don't have any modes with, where you don't have it right now. It's always there. It's something we found players um, use to, to good event to keep with their teammates and to, to keep the combat flowing and keep things a little more focused. Mm -hmm. The enemy players don't show up on the mini map unless they're actually firing. It's unless not they're even, firing, yeah. it's not even just movement. So the, oh. the mini maps are very, very limited in terms of the information you get. Okay. So I can get this before the guy. Nope. Oh. Oh. Committed suicide. Why did you do that? Should use that chip's money stone. I should have, but I, I figured he would, he would stay. He... Oh well. No. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's go with this. This heavy weapons I like a lot. This is the heavy weapon shotgun. Um, you get pretty close. It has six shots. Fires pretty fast. Uh, oh wait, no, this is the grenade launcher. I'm sorry. This is still pretty fun. Exactly what it sounds like. Four shots. Grenade launcher. Lots of AOE damage. Ooh. I always feel really bad if I use it on just one person. Though. There's a few people asking just about characters in the game, um, and we haven't revealed all of the characters that will be in the uh, final multiplayer. Uh, so I won't necessarily, I will still keep BK and I won't necessarily confirm or deny the existence of some characters, but uh, there's definitely a lot more characters than we're seeing right now um, when the final game launches. Absolutely. And you'll learn more about that actually before launch. You'll get a better overview of what, uh, what characters will be in there. And again, what maps, what modes, um, a lot more information on that. So is this an extension off just Uncharted 4, or is it included if you already have the game? It's included, it's included. if you already have the game, yeah. It is? Okay. Uh, again, heavy weapons, missiles are very good ways of taking out sidekicks, and since you get money for taking out the sidekicks, it can also be sometimes worth it just to get your money back. Get more shots. How many spawn points are there? Uh, there's a bunch. It depends on the map. We we try to fill out a map with as many as makes sense that are safe and and doesn't put the player in too much of a of a bad situation. You want to see that one again? We also have some weapons have secondary modes of fire. And tactical is one of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Robert. <laughs> That's our uh, lead multiplayer designer, Robert Cogburn, on the uh, Twitch channel, I guess. Yeah, Cog182. 
He's asking, being all stealthy. Now we've called him out, and everyone's yeah. going to start asking him questions on chat. I just realized I had a Chintamani stone, and that guy could have totally been revived, so I'm that jerk right now. Uh, so to answer his question, I worked on the rooftops map, and uh, like I was mentioning earlier, it's you know it's trying to capture a little more verticality than some of the other maps, um, but also a little more uh, cat and mouse. You know, it's got some of these smaller nooks and crannies, so you can do like how Robert was playing earlier, where you can kind of like try and play around with some of the doorways and uh, use the stealth, or use the charged melee for stealth. Um, so it's, got, it's definitely got a lot of uh, sort of close range opportunities. Um, but we also find that snipers also kind of like this map because there are some of those bigger open areas like the, the center courtyard area. And uh, no one's gonna make it here in time. Oh, look, that was a red one. Oh, that was oh. an enemy. That was an enemy, right? yep. So for the rooftops, are you able to climb onto basically any part of the building here or are some parts blocked off? Yeah, you can't climb everything. Uh, you can't get like on top of, for example, like the really tall buildings here, but you can climb pretty high. And, um, Certainly come up to those towers. Oh, oh, that didn't. You got it. And you can rope your way out. No, that wasn't mine. That was someone else's. Oh, was it? Yeah. Someone's trying to use his five packs offensively. And your C4 explodes when you get knocked out. Little, little better. Not, not great still. That was a pretty good showing. You wanna, wanna try, it, try it, it out? Or? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna suck. I can do. Okay. It's alright. Go for <laughs> it. Doesn't matter. All right. It'd be a lot easier if it was on keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Don't uh, worry. Nobody's watching. Oh God. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Uh, I, I see. I see numbers. Okay. On the bottom. Is that fixed? Hmm? Oh yeah. Looks like the store might be coming back. That's cool. Uh, I'll pay attention to the Naughty Dog uh, Twitter account. I'm sure it'll be up there as soon as those fixes are out. Uh, yeah, make sure to follow our Naughty Dog Twitter like for updates on Stress Test when we're uh, updating the client. Uh, that will all show up on the Twitter. <laughs> Someone <laughs> off screen is staring at us. Yeah. Just staring through the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we we like again feedback from you guys. We we see again. There's a ton of you playing, so please come on, give us feedback. Uh, we'll we'll try to use it to make the game better. Uh, now you say you're mostly a PC gamer. You yes. you don't play a ton of consoles, but that's good. It's going to be good to to kind of see yeah. how someone who doesn't know how to play gets in. Yeah, you're gonna see someone really suck at a game. <laughs> Should we recommend a particular loadout? Should yeah, go, go, with, go with that assault again. Yeah, yeah that one's that one's pretty pretty safe. Yeah. It's, <laughs> again, it has a good spread of, of items. And um, um, don't worry, we've we've sucked. We've all sucked at different times on this stream. <laughs> pretty pretty bad. <laughs> for people yeah. watching home, the the TV is like we say this all the time. It's forever away, so it's really tiny. You're playing. Yeah, I feel like I should have brought my glasses now. Yeah, way too like, far away. <laughs> Okay. And we're still keeping kind of that, and I think you've all seen it. We're keeping that heroes, villains themes, heroes versus villains, and oh my god, that's where right, you need to invert the camera, yeah. right? So yeah. You can go to options to do that. Um. Whoops. Shit. Oh. It's alright. We're PG thirteen. Vertical. <laughs> I'm like oh man. And then let's that one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's like another thing. I have to play inverted on controllers. Which is kind of weird for most people. Oh wait, is that? So enemies, if there's oh. no, if it's red or nothing over their head, it's an enemy. Oh god, oh god. Can you like melee attack if you're ever in close combat? Like you that? can. If you hit square, it square. will it will try to hit the nearest target as long as they're within range and you're not completely looking away from them. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to throw that grenade, it's um, it's R1. This guy on this. This one. Yeah, that one over there. And that will, it's a pretty good one, it just... Hollow. Nice. Ah. So <laughs> it'll take three hits um, to down an opponent and one hit uh -huh. to KO them, one further hit, unless they have a booster that... Revive me! They are. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Unless they have a booster that will give them a little extra health. Okay, so we are currently just... Oh. Well. <laughs> right now we're on... This is our Madagascar map. This is, again, another single-player um, environment, so we don't want to talk too much about what it is, but I think if you've been watching the media out there, you've, you've already seen this one in action a bit. Um, our E3 uh, and some of our other showings use this environment. Oop. Oh, double teams. Oh, man. Yeah, it's well, actually the, oh. the E3 demo is the one where I would say is the most prominent example yeah, of this one. Absolutely, for sure. You just see it in a different way. Was this the E3 demo? Uh, it's inspired. It's similar to it. It's inspired by it. Yeah. In terms of the location. Yeah, we take we take a location from single player, especially if it's an iconic location, and we try to convert it into multiplayer. But that has a lot of different needs, especially when some of our iconic set pieces are. Very crazy. Well, now you just said rooftops is iconic. <laughs> so we try. Some, some of them aren't necessarily like, as as iconic as the rest. Okay, so I'm looking at the mini map. Mm -hmm. um, which ones are the enemies, and which ones are my team? So is it the team like the blue ones, right? The team will be the blue ones. Enemies will show up as, as red dots, and only when they're firing, okay. or when they are. Um, if you have a staff out, it'll show them sometimes. Okay. Right. And then can you jump all these rooftops? Or do you can get on a lot of these. Yeah, you can climb up. Yeah, for those. sure. Um, so here, correct? Yep. Oh, wait. Is it circle? X. Axel. X. X. Climb, yeah. X. And we have a zip line here. If you hit X near, you'll, you'll zip line down oh. to your teammate. Hopefully, he'll still be alive by the time you get there. Oh, oh no! It's okay. It's it's the entire other team. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. So and then uh, on the mini map as well are those those diamonds. Those diamonds are kind of the the little mini objectives that will spawn, and they're the same place for everyone, but um, not always up for everyone at the exact same time. If you pick yours up, it someone else will still have their pick up there available to them. So when you get knocked down like that, um, is there a way where you can just only equip a pistol or something? Kind uh, of like in Left 4 Dead, are you familiar with that? Yeah, no, we don't have anything like that right now. When you're down, you're down. And uh. we kind of like the consistency of that, of not being worrying too much about somebody um, oh, wait. that you've taken out of combat suddenly still being in combat and, and ending you. So I have a red mark on top of my head. Did I just switch team? No, so the red mark over your head is that staff. It says on radar, it's our way, hope, our way of trying to tell you that you are um, shown to the enemy. Mm. I'm not afraid of death. And we do have stealth options where if you have our stealth booster, for example, you won't be able to be marked by that staff so the enemy won't see you. And you know that can like, I like that a lot. It, it, if they're using it and you have that stealth booster, they'll all the time just think you're not there, run past you, hit them in the back. Um, we have some, we have, uh, some good little kind of rock, paper, scissors moments going on. Oh my god, aiming is so hard. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, if, you, if you're not used to uh, controller, it's it no. can be tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I learned mouse and keyboard. I'm a big PC player too, so when I first started working on consoles, it was kind of a jump for me. <laughs> I feel like it takes more time for me to just focus on something. You can. It's, I mean, it's a new experience. I was yeah. the same way when I started the first time. Do you still play on PC or are you mostly console now? I play both. I uh, play a lot of console just to, to see what, what other companies are doing in the oh. same space. <laughs> yeah. I played Fallout on, on console. It was a great game. Those guys did a great job. The newest one, right? Or? Yeah. yeah. It's funny how I've invested so much in, not like a ton, but in having a good PC gaming setup. And yeah. Like, I really don't use it that often because I sit in front of a PC so often at work. It's like the last thing I want to do is sit when in front of home. my work. Yeah. And I got really excited because I ended up buying um, like a really nice, like super large 4K monitor. Oh, nice. Because uh, there's a pretty cheap one. <laughs> nice. You just uh, it on me. And, <laughs> and of course, I'm not even taking advantage of it. Like web browsing on a web 4K Web browsing monitor. on a 4K monitor. <laughs> It's not even a lot of like internet. You can't really even do internet streaming at 4K, huh? No, you can't. 
uh, and I don't I don't have two video cards, so even 4K content that like on YouTube or something that you can consume, like it sometimes hitches. Nice. Okay, well, maybe we can finish talking about the loadouts. <laughs> we were Charger was the last one. Our yeah. shotgun class, smoke bomb, uh, has this stasis ability and a hunter, and the hunter still does track people in a sense. They have to be aware of them, so that if the enemy's shooting, he'll run after that guy. He won't just randomly find a person who's hiding and, and gun straight for him. He'll find someone across the map who your team has awareness of and chase him down, so you can follow him with your shotgun or get up right next to people and just blast away. He's a good distraction. Yeah, it's one of the, the fun tactics we like to do with the hunter is you'll spawn a hunter and he'll start chasing after an enemy and then you can start chasing the same enemy and try and take them out yeah. and kind of double team them. And then we have our, our Indra's Eternity. It's a kind of slows enemies within the radius. So if you get a bunch of guys in there, you can go up and with a shotgun, just wipe them all out. Uh, smoke Bomb, obviously, Smoke Bomb helps you get not shot by snipers. It's great on certain maps. It can just block off an entire area, let you get nice and close. A lot of people here love to drop the smoke bomb, get a melee up, run right in the middle, and hope someone else runs into and just smack them in the face. Sure. One of the things I was going to ask with the staff, is there an area of effect to that? or That one is the whole map. Um, if you want to not be affected, the way to do that is to use our stealth booster and to just kind of... A lot of... of a lot of guys in the office have a stealth loadout in their um, their custom loadout spreads, usually just for cases like that. Uh, if the enemy team's using it a lot, it can be really powerful. I've got a reputation that you see that doesn't bother you. Uh, I saw this on Twitter, and a couple of people asked on the chat a couple of times, and people are just asking about um, like controller options and some other stuff, and uh, that's really limited, unfortunately, with the stress test. But uh, when the final game launches. There'll be a lot more customization in terms of your controller. Um, we've looked at, uh, people have asked for stuff like uh, color blindness and stuff like that. So we've all taken yeah. that into mm -hmm. uh, consideration when we're developing it. So there's definitely the, the control scheme options or the gameplay Long options. Pros. It's far more uh, expanded than what you're seeing in the stress test. It is, and there's a lot of accessibility in um, both single player and multiplayer for, for uh, as you were saying, you know, colorblindness, people who have disabilities, we've, we've tried to help with control schemes for that. And there's always the PlayStation's um, controller remapping, controller remapping sure. in the OS. If you really, really just don't like our options and what we've got, that's still available to you. You can go in there, set the controller up however you want. Um, it's a pretty nice option a lot of people have taken, taken advantage of. Is that like do you have a favorite class? Hmm? Do you have a favorite class? Uh, I I've actually liked well. I think it, part of it was maybe because it was slightly overpowered before, but I, I actually <laughs> used to like the a class with Mutler. But I usually put together a custom loadout, um, and I haven't played around as much as uh, I've wanted to with finding out the one that suits me best. But the thing that the biggest thing for me was once I got in the custom loadout, realizing how I could really mix, mix and match how many of each uh, type of loadout that you could do because like at first i was like originally i was only doing it and i was like all right i'm gonna do like one sidekick and one mystical and i was like well yeah. no no like i'm not limited to that um you're limited that, on some that's where i really want to play a little yeah. bit more on yeah we i think if custom when custom loads get working again uh i encourage everyone to take a look and, and get in there you have a certain amount of um loadout points you can use to fill out your loadout and every ability uh store item a uh, weapon has a cost associated with it well, that will detract from that overall value. So you can just mix and match, get you know a nice spread of stuff within the power scale that the loadout points allow you to, to create with. Uh, yeah, you can have one of you know the mysticals, one of the uh, gear choices, one uh, heavy weapon, but you can fill out with as many sidekicks as there are slots. You have all four sidekicks if you really want. Mm -hmm. And you can only have one up at a time in game, though. So if you have one out and you pick another, it'll kill the, the previous one. And every item that you have when you use it, if you want to use it again, it's more expensive. Okay. So then the sometimes the strategy is have a good spread of, of store items so you can use everything at a lower level. Or some people will focus everything onto one store item and just keep using it the whole game. They'll build the whole loadout around that. 
Um, and we have more options available to you than, than are available in the stress test for that type of loadout as well in the final game. Yeah, I've liked, when I was talking about experimenting with custom loadouts, I've liked um, having uh, a brute and a sniper Sounds good. together cause, uh, and having those options. Because actually, I really like the sniper a lot, and I really like it on the Madagascar map. And so, uh, But I realize that sometimes I need some a little bit more heavy support, but I like when we, we coordinate with people and we put two snipers together, we're sort of oh, like, yeah. we've got the alleys sort of covered with the sniper. And it's not even so much that it, for us there at support, it's knowing that someone is flanking and being able to react to that. It is, and, and sometimes they'll just start shooting your sniper and your sniper will go down, which can be frustrating. You, you don't get to use them, but at least now you know there's guys behind you. Uh, it's great to have... Okay, I got disconnected. It's great to have a good spread of of options available to you, but we also allow you in mid-match, if you really want, to change to a different loadout. So you, you have, you know, three or four custom loadouts made, and what you're using just isn't working for you, you can switch mid-match. Oh, and the only good. downside is that if you upgrade it, your gear, so we do have one store purchase that is an upgrade, not a single use, it's the gear. Mm -hmm. If you upgrade your gear and you switch to a different gear piece, we don't give you the upgrades for that gear piece. Oh my god. If you switch to a loadout with the same gear piece, you'll keep the upgrades, but that could be that could be something that, that is just inefficient sometimes to, to switch. It's my worst game ever. Is it? It's <laughs> alright. It happens. It's it really is tough, people at home. We're not we're not lying. Uh that's oh. tough. We have a few really, really good QA players that are just playing all day every day, even while we're you know, we're at work. So in the design side we're all pretty good. Um, except we, in this match. Except in this particular <laughs> match. Aaron's really good. I'm, I'm, I generally perform very well. Robert Carver performs very well. Uh, Q Train's very good at the game. He's, I don't think he's here. Going to be in this the second oh. stream today, maybe. But he's very good. But then we got a few QA guys who are just really, really good at the Insane. game. Very accurate. Insane. We named our sniper actually after one of them. Really? Uh, yeah. His, his name. It, his, his last name is the the name of the the sniper rifle. Oh. Um, well, another one, the shotgun. Shotgun is also named after one of our QA members. He's very good at the game. That's cool. Uh, yeah, but we it's hard to name weapons sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of companies out there with a lot of different weapon names. So Whoa, we'd like to get you know some of our our, our people in the office get their names in. We find it kind of nice for them and still yeah. make it easier for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Oh, this will... Nice. Well, we're always Smoke trying to find ways to throw people from the studio, whether it's um, PSN names on yep. the wall or mm -hmm. family photos or uh, pet photos. It's a big I, thing yeah. in The Last of Us, actually, if um, people were playing those in the maps. All of the multiplayer maps had some Easter eggs of people in... Mm -hmm. He just keeps going down. Uh, some Easter eggs of people from the office. I was, I believe, um, the plaque on the statue in Height. What was it? University is, is my name. There's a few. There's a few walls that have our QA guys listed as like students in a in a class or like the teacher. It's it's pretty fun. Yeah, I love seeing that in games. I always look at like when I play certain indie games. I'm like, I wonder where this picture's from and who this is and you know why they have these in the games. It's it's a nice way to make sure that that the people in the game are kind of promoted a little bit. And yeah, they, they, have, they have something yeah. to go to their friends and say, hey, look. Yeah, yeah, I know. I love that. It's yeah. awesome. We love it too. I mean, yeah, we nerd out about it. We're all, we're all pretty nerdy in this office. It's like the office's inside joke. Yeah. It's like only you guys know what's in the game. Cool. Yeah, we, love, we do love when people find it. And yeah. uh, when, they, when they do... We're, you know, we're all on the forums a lot, and we love when people post about it too. It's it's really nice to to see the communication between with the players kind of coming in and talking about it with us. Yeah. So that was stasis. Um, normally, it used very well. Yeah, I think it, you're trying to throw that around the corner, right? <laughs> yeah, and the enemy used one too. You want to run in there and show them? Sure. Oh, too late. Oh. Uh, so anyone who gets in there will slow down. Uh, things that are thrown through there will slow down. Just kind of anything that gets in there will just effectively go at a much slower speed. Um, it's a cool effect. Hopefully you'll get a chance to use it. 
I was oh, looking this at match the is going pretty quick. Um, I noticed that one of the one of the points there was the blonde character. She's turned into fire and she's running through. What is that? So that's our our Jin uh, from the Uncharted Three. Mm -hmm. uh, end of the Uncharted Three three game had this. Spoilers alert! Sorry, everybody. Supernatural kind of element, not really supernatural, just there. So yeah. we took that and just put it in the game as as something that was a little more supernatural. But that is teleportation, and you. I, I'm not sure if we still are doing it. We're, we were playing around with maybe even a little more damage. Since you're on fire, hitting people, maybe you can melee a little faster. Mm -hmm. um, and that actually was one of the ones that was most kind of not received that well despite not necessarily being overpowered in the stats uh, so we did change that a little bit this stress test has it where it's affected by mines it wasn't affected by mines before so that was not really people didn't like that those dash through a mine completely lived um it slowed down a little bit you can't just dash 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 you have to take your time so it's much more tactical very interesting and you're on fire i mean who doesn't want to be on fire I gotta try yeah. one more with the shotgun. That was terrible. Okay. <laughs> well, this is our last one match, so time, to, re time to redeem help. yourself. <laughs> uh -oh. Pressure's on. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go shotgun. It's not usually my weapon. I'm just like, oh, I'll try it out. It's close range, then. Uh, what is your weapon? Uh, actually, I do like the SMGs, so I'm gonna go with close range here. Yeah. The MP34. You Get do what you want to do. This time. Let's see if I can use the C4 tactically. Cogburn is really good with the C4. He yeah, loves to bait people with it. He loves to take his time with it. Yeah, he'll, yeah, like, he'll sit up in a doorway and just, be just like, sit there ah. waiting, waiting, <laughs> waiting, waiting. <laughs> Finally. C4 can be tough. I, as I said, I love using it for like when people are chasing me, just throwing on the wall, getting them. But it's not super efficient to use it that way. Um, all of our gear is on a recharge timer. When you use it, it starts to recharge again. If you upgrade your gear to a certain point, you almost you can carry two pieces for most gear. I'm not sure. I forget if the C4 is currently like yeah, that. Yeah, you can use two. Two. Um, so that even if you're holding one, you'll still at least be recharging. But mm -hmm. you want to keep using them so that you, you're you you're getting a, a bunch throughout the match. And at the same time, you want to use them right. So there's a little kind of strategy when, when to use them, when to, to hold them. Grenade's a little easier. You just When you got it, you see an enemy, chuck it. Chuck it. Do you Mine's spawn do. with one? Is it just one? You, you spawn, the, you start with the game with one, uh -huh. and as soon as you use it, you'll start to respawn. And when you respawn, uh, we keep the timer going when you're when you're respawning, so it'll be a little further along. It doesn't, it's not only going when you're alive. But okay. we don't just, re, we don't reset it when you respawn. Mm -hmm. Get him, get him. You're gonna have to do really well this time. You got this. We have faith, Aaron. <laughs> Resting time's over. Oh. Appreciate it. It's a beautiful game. Thank you. Yeah, this this is one of our, I think, most impressive maps. Again, it's our one of our most foliage rich maps, so it was yeah. it was a challenge to get it up to spec so that people could play on it and still have a smooth experience. Ooh. That was bad. But it came out looking really great. I, I love the lighting on this map. Yeah. The lighting came out really well. Yeah. And it's we have things like the smoke grenade, or you're you're shooting a sniper with a big smoky tracer, and it hits these light beams, and it's it's just lighting up that part of the smoke. It's it's very pretty. It is. It's it's great. Yeah. Big props to our uh, graphics programming team. They did an amazing job getting us to 60 frames a second. Oh God. Yeah. That was a challenge. So one of the things I don't know if we had uh, mentioned it earlier, but. Um, is it mines you can still pick up after you place it? Mines you, you can pick up it. after you place it if you want to move it. Um, but again, in terms of efficiency, so you place a mine, you're starting to recharge, you pick it up, you lose all that time spent doing that. So you get this versatility of being able to use it again immediately, but you lose kind of that recharge time. Um, C4, if you upgrade once, you can pick it up as well. That one's a little more useful to, to pick up. Um, even though we allow you to carry two, we only allow, I think, you to use one at a time. I forget. We've been too busy working on our, our individual things to sometimes keep track of where everything's going with everything else in the game. 
There you go. Okay, so he just picked his his backup. Okay, that's cool. Upgrade. Yeah, I like how does it just stay there forever. If only you'd left it there like a second yeah. longer. Get him, get him. Go, yeah, he's right he's there. He was. Uh, nice. Oh, they got me. And we, we also like, I think people just saw he was um, a sniper up on this kind of perch that sees a lot. But we also like to balance out these power positions by making them have almost no cover on them. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be up there, you're pretty exposed. Uh, let's see how this person does with the shotgun. Yeah. But better start. Yeah. And with our weapons, with our variety, one thing we always try to do is make sure that... Um, that not only are they balanced to each other, but sometimes that just a lot of different gameplay styles are respected and in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so something that doesn't work for you, we find a lot of times will work for another player, and that is something we love. A little far for the pistole. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, this this particular one uh, loadout is very close range. It's a, a submachine gun. Can't find that side. You gotta go up the mid, and a shotgun pistol. So if you're not close, you're not doing a lot. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Ooh. Nice. I think you got. No. You... Okay. So you didn't get that guy. Smoke looks good. Yeah, smoke came out well. There's a. There is a little. It, it looks better in the final, final release. Actually, the the guy who, who put it together, I think it looks great. He still wanted to make it look even better. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is that your hunter? That is okay. Yep. So again, the hunter will hunt down anyone she is aware of. Um, so right now she's kind of confused, just hunting around, looking around, just searching the map in general. Mm -hmm. If someone fires, you'll see she'll probably turn and run straight for that person. Or if she sees someone at, within her search, she'll just go for that person. Cool. Yeah, so on. And you can set your, your hunter, as everyone was trying to do there, to follow you so you can kind of keep her around you until, you know, you're ready to actually unleash her and go hunting. Can you call her back? The follow will call her back if she's out. Um, in that mm -hmm. case, she had already grabbed someone, so she wasn't going to let go. And uh, that person would probably have, have killed her. Mm -hmm. But the person who is grabbed has an opportunity to... You know, spam triangle, they'll they'll get out of the grab. You won't die in the grab, you're just held there. It's a, it's a stun. Uh, um, so someone else has to finish you off. We actually tried at first allowing the hunter to, to just straight up down you if you were in there long enough. It didn't go over so well with a lot of people. So the person doesn't move. Oh. Somebody below you is calling for help. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get to them. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> too late. When you're downed, you can spam the X button, and your character will kind of shout and uh, call for help nearby. Something we didn't have in The Last of Us that we're, we're kind of glad we have in this particular revive system. Cause... When they call for help, does it show on the map specifically where they are, or are you just kind They're of always here? on the map um, in this little cross. Those are your down players. Uh -huh. And uh, again, with movement being so fast in this game, people running around so much, we find they're much more distracted. That's why we added this call for help feature to help you figure out your teammates need you. Mm. Uh, and it turns into an X when they're actually down, uh, KO'd. Okay. Why don't you all just breathe brightness Be better with this shotgun. How many hours do you have on this game? Or in just multiplayer? Oh, just me for me or yeah, yeah. Like how much? Oh God! Have played? I've been playing this multiplayer for when did I start working on it? it was a year and a half ago, so a lot. Mm. Yeah, we've been playing. We play almost every day uh, for at least an hour, or half yeah. hour, um, company wide, and then we play a lot of the time just in the design side of of want to test new things out. So hundreds, 
Probably a couple, couple thousand maybe even by this point wow. between all of the, the different Uncharted's. Yeah. Oh. Is fine. I, I used to play games kind of quasi professionally, so I'm used to spending thousands of hours playing one game on the same maps over and over. Cool. What'd you play? Uh, it was Call of Duty back back oh. when it was Call of Duty Four was fresh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have a lot of time when you're working on video games to to play that many hours. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You got you guys are in the lead. I mean, you're doing pretty well. I don't think anyone's up there. They're all back around the corner. Yeah. Flank them, flank them, get behind them. That guy's right there. Watch out. So that Ooh. pillar will fall if he blows this up. And hopefully we'll kill someone. Nice. Oh. Nah, didn't get anyone. I think I got one down you off of You got a down yeah. off of that, but the, if the pillar hits somebody, oh, they'll oh, also yeah. they'll also die. Yay! So what did you think? Do you have any particular things you, you liked about it or, or didn't even? Um, you know, I'm actually pretty curious because I want to see more objectives in the game. It's fun to just run around and mm -hmm. you know see who wins more matches, but I think if you had more team objectives, it'd add a little bit be a little more fun. We'll for definitely me. have some modes. We'll for definitely you. Have some yeah, modes yeah, that's for you cool. When, when yeah. Yeah, yeah. we go full. There will be some other modes, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are not only giving you team deathmatch, don't worry. So, uh, yeah, that will wrap it up for this morning's broadcast. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, thank you, Julia, for oh, coming no, in. Thank you. Uh, yeah, make sure awesome. to uh, check out your Twitch channel at yeah. Sorry Game Over. Uh, <laughs> and we'll be back later this afternoon at 5 p.m. Pacific uh, with two other guests, uh, Panic Control and John Sandman. Nice. So oh. come back and join us again as we hop into multiplayer, and we'll have two other uh yeah, players this is it from for us. multiplayer team. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Robert and Aaron. Yeah. Take care. We were meant for this, Nathan. You, me, together. We were destined for something great. Those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Oh, oh, crap! Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves, digging around where we shouldn't. Shame we're not on the same side. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. So, are you ready to seek your fortune? I made a promise that I was done with this life. How long have we been chasing this thing? Long time. Real long time. Just you and me. <laughs> no offense to these guys, but they don't get it. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. Watch out! Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer. Drop everything. Go home. Live your life. Or we can just end it right here. There's gotta be another way. I need you on this one. Stop! wonder, like, different choices, how we might have ended up? No. I like the hand we've been dealt. PlayStation.